Good morning. Um, so I just wanted to catch up with you really quick this morning. Um, I walked over from, or made coffee first thing, and then I walked over to try to get into the sun because it is freezing. I was sitting here going over my notes that I made um, prior to the trip. So I was going to read the description of um, the South Fork Golden and the Volcano Golden um, from the 1905 publication and so basically um the south fork golden sparsely spotted um alongside only above the lateral line and on top of the head um, there are no spots below the lateral line the belly is a rich orange um and then i had kind of a side note from from the reading um, there's a large variation in colors and patterns throughout the south fork um, system. So the golden trout of Volcano Creek is in, um, defined as entirely without spots, um, except occasionally a few above the lateral line posterior to the dorsal fin. The belly is a very rich cadmium or deep orange red band, um, running along the belly. Um, there's not much variation in color except due to differences in age. Um, no spotting in most samples, a few with light spotting on the rear fin. Um, we do have to get out of here today. And so I'm only going to have a, a few hours this morning to, to try to catch and document some more fish. And then when I get home, I will go through and, and look at all the, the, um, images from each of each fish from each water system and kind of compare um but anyways i'm gonna sun's starting to come up a little bit more and it's warming up a little bit so i'm gonna try to get to fishing uh, we don't have much time time this morning um, before we have to get out of here so i'm gonna do the best i can thanks Beautiful South Fork Golden. Walked up to this little section and there was a great big one sitting right there and I stepped on these branches and the second it went crunch, he skidded off. South Fork Golden.
little guy from back in. All right, guys, on our way out. I'll tell you this pack feels a lot heavier today than it did yesterday, even minus the extra food weight. Uh, yeah, I'm hoping a few miles up the trail, my legs will stretch out a little bit, start feeling a little, a little better, but definitely, definitely a little sore this morning. Um, never ended up actually finding the the tunnel um, but our time was pretty short here so did catch a lot of a lot of golden trout and that was the aim um, my impression as of now is there is not much difference between the two streams but when I get home we'll definitely be comparing photos and probably compile them all to uh, compile them all and put them on the ending credits or something. Or I was also thinking about a highlight reel, just uh, at the very end, hooking up to tons and tons of goldens because definitely caught quite a few. Found it, Brian. Um, oh, I think we might have found the tunnel. Think this is it? This is it. All right. Slide right here. You can see where it cut off. We could have walked in between on those things right there. Crazy. Yeah, so we just walked right past it yesterday. We walked right over it. So. This looks looks to be the tunnel, the infamous tunnel or open cut. Very cool. Found it. <laughs> That's so funny. So excited to get to the campsite, man. We just walked right through here yesterday. So maybe. All right, guys. Check back in with you in a little bit. Okay, so hopefully you got a good look at the tunnel. We kind of walked right past it on the way in, uh, but on the way out, it's pretty obvious that that's the junction point where the two streams are probably the closest and where they blasted through there to try to divert water from Golden Trout Creek into the South Fork of the Kern. But anyways, just wanted to check back in. Um, we just passed the marker to go towards Big Whitney Meadow. Um, so this is a kind of a loop trip. We started on the way in following the South Fork of the Kern and then on the way out we're going to follow Golden Trout Creek all the way out um, and probably stop in Big Whitney Meadow um, to catch a few more Goldens um, before we completely end the trip. But yeah. Guess I'll check back in with you guys in a bit.
Look at that view. Man, I just want to go down there and fish. That's awesome. Still got a long ways to go though. But I think we will definitely stop up here and take advantage of the beautiful big Whitney Meadows. Alright guys, down in Big Whitney Meadow, I'm going to get stop and get situated really quick and put the sneak on some golden trout. This will probably be the last spot that we stop before, uh, the last spot that we stop and actually fish. So, I'm going to hook a few and then jump back on the trail. See you in a sec. Another small one. See him in the sun. walk around here really quick and see if I can sneak up and get in a little pocket um, with some bigger fish. The little ones keep smacking it. I think I missed that one. Really crazy car marks. Gotta check out. Man, that's a little bit of a nice size one. It's not a bad size.
another one, same spot. Or the shot, camera shot I was getting. Getting in there. But let's get a good, really shot of this guy. Good shot. All right, I'm getting pretty fatigued, man. It's a lot, a lot of fishing on this trip. Arms getting tired. No, it's just, it's a long ways. It, we still have a long ways to go back to the truck. Um, and I would love to spend all day down in this meadow because it's a blast. Um, but I think we're gonna have to hit the road pretty quick stop right over here at this last little spot and then we'll hit it. All right, guys, I think this is the last golden of the trip. Not a bad size. get much of a release shot as soon as I set him down he was out of here good healthy fish big healthy fish all right guys um, that's it that's a wrap on the fishing for this trip <laughs> so Big Whitney Meadow, last spot we're stopping at, and got to hit the trail and make it back to the truck. Sun's getting low, and we got quite a few miles left. So, <sighs> fun trip. A lot, a lot of fish. Beautiful fish. So, anyways, I'm gonna go back up, get uh, get all my stuff loaded back up, and pack on and hit the trail all right see you in a bit all right guys i think i'm gonna have to do the outro right here uh we just made it up the cottonwood pass um, sun setting, going to have to dig out the flashlights, um, probably going to be walking out of here in the dark. Um, you can see round, round, uh, valley down below me, somewhere down there is where the parking lot is. We made, started down there and made a full loop all the way around. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the heritage trout mapping episode on the real golden trout or the golden trout of Volcano Tr Creek. Peace. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I got a piggyback ride.